So the three main reasons you want a zero clearance insert are to reduce this gap right here so little pieces of wood don't fall in there and cause potential kickback. Another reason is that it can also help reduce tear out by properly supporting the work piece. And finally, some people also say that having a narrower gap here can help improve dust collection. For my insert, I'm going to use this scrap piece of half inch plywood. The reason I'm doing that is because I already have it and it's dimensionally stable. The factory throat plate fits a little sloppy, so I want mine to fit a little bit snugger than that. So I'm going to measure the opening and then cut it to the right width. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this thing down, mark the location of all the adjustment holes and the ends. Next, I'm actually going to mark and drill out a finger hole so I can get the thing in and out when I'm test fitting it. I meant to drill part way and then flip the insert and finish drilling on the other side. I didn't do this, so I got a bunch of tear out on the back side. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the rest of this profile, except I'm going to cut it just a little bit bigger so I can sand it to final size. Now I'm going to use my Dremel with a little carving bit on it to try and get some more detail on these tabs, get them the right thickness, and kind of clean up the overall profile a little bit. Now that I got the basic shape all cut out, I'm gonna do a little fine tuning with a little sandpaper on a stir stick. All right, I think we actually got it. It's a pretty snug fit, but I actually think that's a good thing. Okay, so now I'm going to drill some countersunk holes for the adjustment screws.
use my new leveling screws to make sure everything's level before I go any further. When the blade is in the fully up position, there's a little piece of fabric here that kind of gets in the way of the throat plate. You can see the cutout right here. I'm gonna have to replicate that in my insert. Perfect fit. So as you can see here with the blade all the way down, I still can't quite get my new insert all the way down. So that means I'm gonna to have to cut a little slot in it so that I can actually start the blade to raise it up through the insert. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and clamp a two by four over top of the insert to hold it down while I cut through it. Well, I think that actually turned out beautiful. Now I just need to cut a little bit longer slot for the riving knife. Well, I just cracked my insert right here, but I think we can glue it and fix it and then finish cutting out the slot. Well, I've clamped it all up to try and fix my issue, my crack, um, but I think what I'm gonna do to make it even stronger is cut a little piece to go in this slot so that doesn't happen again. I think overall my fix actually turned out pretty good. Um, seems like it's stronger than it was before. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting my slot for the was planned, but I think in the end it still turned out fantastic. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Tell me what you guys think.